agenda and the joys of live television. Uh, we are trying to have a conversation with the Nevada State uh, Senator uh, Michael Roberson about this uh, very interesting uh, thing that's being proposed now by he and a few other uh, Republican senators, which is uh, to SJR 15. And Roberson, already, he supported this. I want to just remind yeah. the viewers, he supported this in 2011. Yeah. So this takes the special tax status right. uh, out of the Constitution. Uh, Senator, if you, uh, just to recap uh, Hugh's uh, question from, uh, you know, Block One, is this an either or? proposition in other words can, can Republicans kind of separate these two issues the getting the tax status out of the Constitution and then actually taxing mining or do you think to get a deal it's going to have to be all of a piece I Elizabeth thank you for the question uh, I, I I can only speak for myself I will support SJR 15 regardless but we need the alternative ballot measure on as well Okay, I, I'm gra glad you said that because last night on um, Ralston's show, you said you were hopeful that the governor could be um, perhaps persuaded um, that, that your idea of taking this to the voters, basically giving the voters an, an alternative on the ballot to the margins tax, uh, I think you called it a better vehicle uh, for funding education. Um, you know, now that we've had time to let a little bit of the dust uh, settle, do, what, on what do you base that hope that, that you can sort of convince the, the governor that, uh, that this is the way to go? Well, I thank you for the question again. I think as we go on forward during this session, you're going to find public support for this initiative to snowball. I think the public support is going to be overwhelming for this. Senator, you have spoken. I, I, I have to applaud you, even though we disagree about a lot of things. I have to applaud your statement yesterday about the mining industry and subsequently about them being singled out. And you have made your case very eloquently about the need for taxing mining more, just as a fairness proposition. But as you also know, you've shown the lobbyists in, in Carson City that you are a policy guy. I don't think they're used to that, frankly, so good for you. But what I want to point out, as a policy guy, you also know that gold as a commodity, the only people that know anything about what the price of gold is going to do are people who are by definition not credible to talk about the price of gold. It is a very unstable tax to rely on. Are you concerned about putting so much of your education alternative, if you will, onto a tax that can be very unstable? Well, that, that's a good question. I, it, I, what I've said is that we need to have a, a, and I'm getting a lot of echo, so I apologize if I'm, I'm delaying go and talking. Ahead and, if you want to pull that earpiece out of your ear, During uh, this, Senator, and answer the question, go ahead and do that. You know, I'll do that. I'll do that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, I have said throughout the session that Republicans and Democrats need to look at stabilizing and broadening our tax stru structure this session. And so I'm looking forward to continuing those discussions. That's one track. The other track is fixing this anomaly we have in the Constitution. You know, I love it when mining says that we shouldn't single out one industry. The problem is they are the one industry that's singled out in the Constitution. We need to fix that. And, you know, they pay a third of the taxes of gaming, uh, the gaming pays on similar revenue. Um, it doesn't make sense to people other than to the mine industry. It just doesn't make sense. We need to fix this. And the margins tax will do nothing to stabilize our economy. It will drive jobs out of this state. It will drive businesses away from this state. It, it will be um, <laughs> very detrimental to Nevadans. So we have to kill this margins tax. We need this, this better vehicle on the ballot. And, and we need to give voters a choice. If voters want to raise taxes, to fund more spending on education, let's give them a, a real choice. Okay, there we go um, from the senator. I'll give him a chance to put that earpiece back in. Um, and I just, you know, I think it's interesting, Hugh. I want to say um, this, and I, I hope the senator can hear me as I do. I found it interesting this morning. Um, senator Roberson indicated last night um, in that interview with John Ralston that at least some uh, folks in the on the gaming side of this equation would come out in support uh, of what he's trying to do with mining taxes. Now, the Nevada Resort Association was quick to jump out and say, no, we don't support singling out any industry. However, the Las Vegas Sands this morning, uh, through spokesperson and lobbyist Robert Eitoven, put out a statement saying that they do see this 
this as a fairness uh, issue and they want to level that playing field. They want to end this special protection. Senator, mm -hmm. do you expect any, any other uh, gamers except for the Las Vegas Sands who I suppose if we were going to take a guess which casino would support uh, you in this endeavor, we would guess it would be the Sands. Are, are there any other gaming companies that you think uh, you can get on your side on this one? <laughs> Well, we'll see. I'm optimistic. I am confident that as people get their heads around this idea that you are going to see much more support in the gaming community and the general business community. All right, Senator, I assume that you put your earpiece back in. I apologize again. I think you're doing magnificent under these trying circumstances. Yes, he is, and we appreciate uh, his patience very, very much. And is he still there is the question. Yes, yes, he is. All right. He's getting pretty good putting that <laughs> yeah, earpiece Yeah, getting pretty in good. All right. cheaper. Good Listen, sport. Listen, again, I want to make another point of appreciation from the progressive side of the aisle here. What you seem to have done here is shifted a debate from whether we need to spend a substantially larger amount of money on education to where we're going to get a substantially larger amount of money. I think and we just I'm sorry, we just lost the okay. senator. All right, All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. Hopefully, we'll see if this works any better when we get back right after this. In the next